Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Ravind Mishra and I welcome you all. In this video, we will learn how to install Jenkins on Windows and create a username and password for Jenkins server and create the first Jenkins job. So just before we do the installation and configuration of Jenkins on Windows, let us understand what is Jenkins server. So Jenkins is an open source automation server that is commonly used for continuous integration and continuous delivery of software projects. So continuous integration and continuous delivery also refers as CI/CD. Okay. So Jenkins helps automate various tasks related to building, testing, where you will be actually executing your automation script and deploying software, making it easier for development teams to collaborate and deliver code more efficiently. Jenkins support a wide range of plugins like uh, your there might be some uh, there will be uh, uh, plugins to you know pull the code from the uh, code repository like git uh, lab github your perforce svn and there are so many uh, plugins are available with the jenkins so based on your need uh, you will be actually configuring those you will be installing those plugins with the jenkins okay so in the next slide uh, we have this link basically so adoptimum adopt Adoptium is the site uh, using which you can uh, download the OpenJDK and all you have to do to have Java uh, 8 or later right to have Jenkins installed and configured on your system. So I would uh, suggest you to you know install the latest version of Java uh, from this site which, which could be Java, Java, Java OpenJDK 11 or OpenJDK 17 or 21 or uh, and so on like and make sure just it is more than you know Java 8 okay because you are going to install the uh, latest version of Jenkins and then we will go to the this site to download the Jenkins binary okay so Jenkins.io download so let us go to that or let us go to that um, site so Jenkins or you can search for that Jenkins download for Windows it will take you to that site only for Windows okay so you can go to this site and search for Windows option so in this LTS okay I'm going to select Windows so it will download the Jenkins binary so let me see if I have I have already created uh, downloaded it so it is available inside the download I will click here to open the Jenkins I mean download for that Jenkins I mean download folder and here you see right I have already uh, downloaded this binary so I am going to click on this and just before that uh, let us see what is the version of java installed in our system so i will simply execute java hyphen version to see the java version okay so it is 17 open jdk 17.0.2 okay so it is installed on my system so let us go back to the installer jenkins installer so i'm going to install jenkins at this while creating the uh, making this video i'm just installing Jenkins 2.4.1 point four point one two okay version of Jenkins I'll click on next I will go with the default location so I'm going to install Jenkins inside the program files okay you can change the uh, location if you want okay so next next is logon type so if you are on the corporate network and the domain user if you know so you can uh, choose to go with this option otherwise you can select this run services local system so since i'm going to install uh, jenkins on my windows 10 laptop okay windows 10 so uh, i can i can simply use this run services local system okay and you can do po uh, port test if this particular you know port 8080 is free or not so you can see it is free okay so i'm gonna click on next and you can see it is fetching the java version okay which i have shown you so it is uh, it is there in the system variable okay system environment variable just make sure it is installed and it is added as a 
java home because it is fetching based on that java home value okay which we have already set here in the system variable so java home I, you can see i have set it to jdk 17.0.2 which we, we have already seen here okay so for now i will close this close this cancel and cancel let us go back again to this jenkins installation window and i will close this also click next and just uh, i don't want the service to be installed or you know started after the installation of jenkins so i will click on this entire feature will be unavailable and i will also just select i mean just uh, uh, i mean we have not uh, selected these two things okay start service and firewall exception so i will be configuring myself start service okay after the installation of jenkins i will be uh, providing uh, my paths and everything right in the jenkins file so which is why i have just not selected uh, this option okay so after the installation of jenkins i will be starting uh, jenkins manually i will click on next here and within a couple of second it is going to install the jenkins so you can see click on you can click on finish and you can go to the program files to see your jenkins folder so here your jenkins is installed you can see your jenkins var file jenkins application and the jenkins configuration file and this is jenkins var okay so i'm gonna just edit this file with a notepad plus plus or any editor and wherever you see this program uh, data you can update that with the program files so this is going to be my physical location in my c drive right so where my jenkins is installed and the jenkins var file is present so i'm going to choose this program data i will replace this again so wherever you see the program data you can replace that with the actual path which is c program files right because you have installed your jenkins inside this and here also so inside this your pid of the jenkins will be jenkins pid will be stored also inside the jenkins okay once it is started it will generate the pid and that pid will be kept inside this jenkins folder i'll save this and i will go to the services panel now okay so let me see let me start so it is going to start the jenkins you can see it is started okay it is running and then i'll go to the browser you can open firefox uh, edge or chrome um, i have launched chrome and i'm accessing um, localhost 8080 which is the jenkins url and the port so it is going to take time uh, because it is the first time uh, you are going to access the jenkins so just have little patience and it will be done in couple of seconds see please wait while jenkins is getting ready to work just have little more patient and then it will uh, show you this screen getting started okay so where uh, if you are installing it for the first time it is going to you know give you the password inside this path okay so let us go to this path jenkins and jenkins secret admin so the first time password will be on this and later you can reset the password okay so i'm going to go to this secret and the initial admin password i will edit i'll copy the password and use it in this window okay and click on continue so you can see i get this window after that okay so install suggested plugin so I've, i'm going to click on this or select plugins to install so if you are installing it for the first time you have to go with this so that uh, 
almost uh, jenkins will get uh, those uh, manual set of you know plugins ready for you okay so that you can create jenkins job and all okay so i will go and choose this i will go ahead with this option so it is going to take time so just have a little patient i will pause and will come back in a couple of seconds okay so until this gets ready it will try to install download all the plugins and install so i will pause the screen for i'll pause the video for a couple of seconds until this gets downloaded so if you notice uh, jenkins is installing these plugins pipeline git ldap okay folders time ovas markup formatter github branch store ssh build agents mailer and gradle right uh, credentials binding everything for you right for the first time users of uh, jenkins server later uh, you can install more and more plugin based on your requirement yeah <clears throat> so uh, all the plugins required plugins are installed with the jenkins and uh, you can create the first admin user okay i can give as that adda as a username and i can choose my password okay you can give any name of your choice and uh, just make sure both the password matches okay and give you name and then i will choose the email address okay and i will click on save and continue so this is going to be my jenkins url okay so which i am already accessing okay just remember your username and password save and finish and start using jenkins your jenkins is ready now right <clears throat> cool so this is how you can install and configure the jenkins and the uh, you know create username and password for jenkins and if you want to you know change the username and password you can simply go to the manage jenkins and go to the credentials and the add some more you know uh, credentials here how you would add you have to go to this system add domain or you can simply create username and password okay so right now i'm just i'll be using uh, as data data which is my uh, username okay and this is my display a name which i have entered and now uh, you can create a new job okay so you can click on new item that is how you can create a new job in jenkins or you can click on create a job okay so whatever works for you so i'm gonna choose all right uh, first job and i'm going to choose freestyle project okay <clears throat> so this is going to be my first job and i will create and i will show you how to run it and uh, how to see the console if the job is successful after the successful after the job is success, successfully you know built or uh, you know uh, executed we should be able to see the result also right so for now what i can do i can go ahead with the build step i can choose execute windows batch command and here i can give some windows command like uh, echo i can type this is my first jenkins job and i can give date and time stamp also if i want okay going forward i will tell you like how to uh, execute your automation script from the jenkins okay how to write how to give you know how to execute your uh, and command and other things right i'm going to teach you all this 
for now uh, i'm going to you know uh, print this this is my first job after the execution of the this job i should see this in the result okay so for now click on apply and save it and now your job is ready you can see your job you can see your dashboard and this is your job just click on your job and build now okay and if there is nothing wrong with your job it will be complete and you can see this green and success right so you click on here and go to the console output and you should see the result here okay so this is my first jenkins job which i have written and it is system is fetching the date and time also okay 10 56 is the time right now okay so this is how you can uh, create the install the jenkins on the windows and create a username and password for windows and create the first job Jen uh, first jenkins job i hope uh, you have liked the explanation and uh, learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for uh, more updates and share this video with your friends and, and also share the comment and i mean feedback in comment section i will see you in the next video until then keep learning and thanks for watching